Hello everyone. Well, um, I'm recording this video because um, today I'm going to be uh, stripping and learning how to rebuild a Triumph Stag uh, Stromberg twin carburetor. Um, I've not done this before, uh, which is why I'm going to be taught how to do it later on this afternoon. Uh, but I thought that uh, so I could remember how to do it and also it may be useful for anyone that's watching that's got to do the same job as well um, to actually record this and pop this on YouTube. Um, so first thing we've got to do of course is get the uh, carburetor out of the engine. Um, last thing I want to do is to drive the stag over to my friends. Uh, we take the carburetor off and, uh, and then we find that there's a problem that we don't have the parts to fix it and then the car's stuck on his drive, so uh, that wouldn't be great for him. So, um, we've got the car at my garage at the moment, and uh, so we're going to get that carburetor out, and I'll take you through how we do that. Now, I know this might sound a very obvious thing to do, but the first thing we're going to do is to label up anything that we're going to detach, because, of course, we've got two chokes. So I'm going to do near side choke. <coughs> Level these up before you uh, actually detach them. And you can't get it wrong. Got the accelerator. These are taken off. They're just cables, so but they could be any. They could be could go anywhere. And then we've got. Uh, <laughs> see now, I've done this wrong already. That isn't the near side choke. That's the offside choke. That's near side choke. Can you guess? This is going to be a warts and all video. That one. <coughs> Off. Side. Choke. Okay. So, now that we've got those detached, oh, sorry, now that we've got those labelled up, all we need to do is to get a screwdriver to the points where they're attached. that we don't drop the retaining flute screws so I'm screwing that one in nice and securely so, so. and there's something We've got a spring clip for our offside chunk just here. Yeah. Let's remove that carefully, making sure that uh, it doesn't ping off. And for this, I'm going to get a tiny spanner. Oh, 
hold it up here on the side. Loose. Should that come out? And it does. Excellent. Thank you very much for playing nicely. Just tighten that back up. So that again, you don't lose that. And I have to say, the inner side choke is very convenient when you have far down, just below here. So we're going to take that off later. So what we're going to do now is to take these breather pieces off. Attach the rubber hose from the air filter intake. There we go. She's done. And then, so that we can get uh, nice and easy access, what I'm going to do now is to detach the air filter box and these uh, intake angles from the carburetor and then that's going to give me good access to the um, point where the choke cable that we haven't taken out yet is located. <coughs> on. so that I know which bolt it was the choke clip went on. Now it might sound totally common sense, but you want to make the job as easy as you can when you're putting it all back together. Because this isn't a job if you're completely stripping the choke, uh, sorry, the, uh, yeah, the, the, the chokes, if you're rebuilding them, it's not... Um, necessarily a job that's going to be always guaranteed to be done in one day. <coughs> so, on the other side, and we'll do the same with these three bolts.
nice and easily. on the uh, box but it just literally should pull off. There we go. And that's our air intake removed. <coughs> now this is now giving me plenty of room to be able to remove that near side choke wheel. So, just so that you can see where it is, let's just pick this up. And if we come around here, you can see that we have the choke that goes to here, and then just down here, we've got a little bolt just the other side and that just needs to be undone. Exactly the same as the bolt was. You can see it on this side much easier. There's the bolt uh, for this side. So that's basically where we're at with this. So let's just put this camera, let's just have it this side now. angle things so that you can see what I'm doing, hopefully. There we go. So what we're looking at is there is a bolt just where my fingertip is and that's what we're going to undo. First of all though, <coughs> we've got another spring clip just here. So I'm just going to carefully undo that. Two hands I think. Don't be uh, reckless, David, because otherwise I've had these things springing <laughs> right across the garage. And uh, these little things look like that. And uh, so, of course, once you've lost them, they're pretty difficult to find again. So, yeah, two-handed job. So, we're going to stop the cable from turning. If we can, this one's a little bit more difficult. Uh, okay, I'm not going to be able to get my pliers down there to isolate it. Let's just see whether I can. Ah, good. Just holding it, fingers, I can't get to it. So that's lovely. Let's undo that. Pull the cable through and then tighten the bolt back up again so that it uh, can't fall out. In fact, looking at this, yeah, okay, that's the reason why I've been able to do it. It's actually quite stiff to move. So we've now got both of our choke cables detached. So the next thing that we need to do is to take off hoses. <coughs> So, we're going to remove this one. Oh, that came off very, <laughs> very easy. Okay. Was it supposed to come off quite that easy? I am not sure. I'll have to uh, check on that. Um, so, we've then got uh, the overflow hoses. So, we're going to take uh, this one off just here. Oh, oh, that's a little bit better. That's more like the sort of resistance I was expecting to feel. And then we have also got um, another one just at the back here. Let's just uh, move this round so you can see it just there. So it's going to take that one off as well. There we go. Now, 
<coughs> we've then got the fuel hoses here and here they now need to uh, become detached now for those of you that enjoy uh, <laughs> watching continuity bloopers on films you'll notice that uh, I'm now round the other side <coughs> I've got a towel just here because before I remove the fuel lines to the carburetor I'm going to remove um, the fuel line from the uh, filter fuel filter just here because there will be fuel in the pipe and what I want to do is to try to get ooh, the fuel out of the pipe before I remove it before I remove the other end of the pipe from the carburetor itself hopefully this is then going to avoid me spilling petrol all over my lovely engine bay so we're going to just encourage this little jubilee clip down here that's it, there we go and <coughs> I've got a little pot to catch any fuel that leaks in and I've also got a load of tissue paper in the eventuality that of course this doesn't work and I spill a load so uh, let's see how we go so I'm just going to encourage the pipe vacate its position here and it's slowly coming the nice thing about these clear filters is that you can see what's in it and it doesn't look like I've actually got any fuel in the filter at the moment so I'm hoping that does mean right there we go <laughs> perfect it's not uh, actually got any fuel in this that's all right but there is fuel in the hose so let's just lift these up <coughs> so that gravity will do its job and we'll get any petrol out of the hose. Uh, stop now, that's quite quick. But uh, so at least that has saved me getting petrol absolutely everywhere. So we're going to while on this side we're going to remove the Jubilee clip from this intake. successfully remove let's open her up a bit that's it there we go okay so that one's off can just check nope there's no fuel there, that's good, lovely. And uh, now we're going to do this one just here. So I'm just going to nip around the other side and do the same. <coughs> the 
this one off. There we go. Ooh, and we do have fuel in the pipe. So I'm going to keep that upright as I can. Ooh. There we go. And now, pour it into my trusty container. There we go. Lovely. So now we've got this freed up. I'm still wondering how that cable comes off. <coughs> anyway, where we're at at the minute is that we now need to get to a central bolt, which is just where my screwdriver is, just there. That's the only bolt that holds this uh, carburetor onto the um, air plenum, the, uh, or the, the, the uh, so, well, this, this, this part anyway. Uh, but there is a vacuum hose just here, and there is a tiny little bolt. So we've got the vacuum hose just here, the tiny little bolt just underneath there, a little brass one. We've got to remove that before we can actually get to the um, the actual main bolt. So, uh, while we're while I was just getting things ready to take the, uh, the these two little pieces off, I thought I'd have a look at the accelerator cable. <laughs> In fact, it just pulls off. The locating grommet is actually a fixture of the uh, scaffolding just there. So, actually, it just pulls off. Okay, so, <coughs> this vacuum, which goes to the advanced and retard, we're just going to encourage off. And with a little bit of help from my screwdriver here. There we go. Off she comes. I'll leave the other end attached to the advance and retard. And then, of course, I know where it's come from. Right, so that's that done. <coughs> so now you can probably see a little bit easier where I have my screwdriver. We have this brass or copper um, hose that goes to a bolt. So it's a pretty small one, so I'm guessing it's a three eighths. Let's just try. Oh, no, no, it's larger than that. Seven sixteenths, perhaps. Oh. No. It's not as small as I thought it was. It's a half. And of course, here's the interesting thing. There's a stag. You can't get to it, it's not a half. an extremely tight fitting 7 sixteenths. I'm just going to try a different spanner. Of course, the interesting thing is with spanners, you have tolerances. Isn't it 
typical. And the set doesn't have a 7 sixteenths in it. <laughs> Let's just see if that is no, it's still rather tight. feeling like I should be able to undo it with my fingers now. Yes, I can. That's good. There we go. There's the offending item. one bolt centrally to undo it and that it does look like a <coughs> yes it is you can see how you had to remove that little brass one first to be able to get it down onto this. There we go. Bolt off. Is there a washer? Oh, no washer. Interesting. Hopefully, it does mean this should now lift off. Just a straight lift. Move these things out of the way and see if that actually happens. Oh yes, and there we go. Oh, what have we got tangled up here? Oh, we've still got a uh, breather at the other side. Come on, there we go, and that's that. That is one carburetor now removed.